It's Robin Sander from My Wife the Dietitian, and it's really hot. Yes, it's hot out today. This is um, Nutrition Nuggets, in case... Uh, <laughs> you sound really like... Uh... Well, I, I I recognized that in my voice as I started talking, and oh. so I just thought I'd explain why I'm talking like it's really hot. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll, um, try, I'll try to do better, though. <laughs> you do fine, honey. Okay, good. Okay. Um, this is based on a question from a listener. Another listener question. Thank you. Thank God for the listeners, or yeah. we'd be talking to nobody. <laughs> We'd have to make up our own questions. That's right. Well, this one was, isn't all sugar just sugar? What's the difference between sugar and honey, for instance? And she says, I know honey has health benefits, but I remember um, from talking to a dietitian that sugar was just sugar. You know who else has that question? Who? I do. Oh. I was, I was, I remember we did an episode on sugar and I was always confused about that too. And, and, and so I'm not alone. So that's good. So we can, we can explain that a bit more so that we all understand. Yeah, absolutely. We did an episode, um, episode 127 was artificial sweeteners and diet sodas. Um, and I think we broached, um, talking a little bit about sugar, but yeah. This one was really good because it's uh, it's a common question I hear a lot, actually. Well, and it's it's once again back to the whole part of nutrition and health. It's it's there's so many parts that are confusing to people, mm-hmm. and unless you have uh, nutrition or some sort of chemistry or science degree or chainsaw, yeah, there's a chainsaw Ring. somewhere. I'm hearing that. Yeah. Yes. Um, yeah, then then you're going to be like stuck with questions trying to figure things out, you know? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're going to talk a little bit about the difference between honey and sugar, like simple sugar. We're talking about like refined sugar, like white sugar. And then we're going to um, discuss some signs of low quality honey that's like sugar water. Perfect. So yeah, there uh, there is a difference between honey and sugar. And and are we going to explain, is sugar sugar? Because I think that was the original question. Like, is all sugar break down to sugar? Kind of Right. Like, does your body recognize it as something different? Or is it... Because I think probably what this listener was talking about is when the dietitian said it's sugar is sugar in your body, it's referring to the blood sugar rise when you eat something that is sweet, that has regular sugar or honey, or maple syrup, or any sweetener, like sugar sweetener, Mm -hmm. um, it elicits a blood sugar rise and an insulin response. So people with diabetes ask this question all the time. Can I use honey? If I can't use sugar, can I use honey? Yeah. And I I think that's probably where the confusion is, is, is like, if it all breaks down to sugar, then what's the difference? What I, whether I use white sugar, brown sugar, honey, some sort of sweetener if it all breaks down to sugar in my body then why does it matter right and so we're gonna sort of look at is one better than another yes okay gotcha yeah yeah exactly so yeah honey is composed of uh, fructose and glucose so 38 percent fructose and 31 percent glucose but it also has antioxidants and vitamins and minerals and antibacterial and antifungal properties. It soothes the sore throats, as you've probably seen with some cold remedies. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So and then also it helps with wound healing and burns and cuts and abrasions. And it tastes good. Yeah, well, yeah, right? it's sweet, isn't oh, that's it? That's great. That's right. Mother Nature's sweetness. Mm-hmm. The birds and the bees. You got it. <laughs> yeah, and it also has a slight amount of prebiotics, so it can help with gut problems. And it has a minor amount of uh, vitamins and minerals. So, I mean, it's not a big source because we don't eat a ton of honey at once. But it is a better alternative to white sugar. Yes. Okay. Because there's not really anything in white sugar that's good for you. Exactly. Exactly. That's right. It's just empty calories. Whereas honey has some health benefits and it has more than just calories. Gotcha. 
Yeah. And it does actually have a lower glycemic, like a response to the blood sugar. Um, it's a more gradual rise than refined white sugar, just slightly, but Oh, okay. Interesting. Yeah. yeah, like so sugar causes a more rapid blood sugar rise um, because it's all glucose. Well, there you go. Yeah. So the long-term effects of, you know, too much sugar, as you probably would know, it leads to, you know, insulin resistance, like your blood sugar rise, and then the insulin has to come in to take the sugar into the cells. And then over time, if, you, if you're eating too many foods that have that effect, you could be more predisposed to prediabetes or type 2 diabetes. So prediabetes and then diabetes um, and other metabolic problems like metabolic syndrome we've done an episode on. So it is considered an added sugar, like sugar and honey and maple syrup. So when we're looking at how much sugar we should have, you have to consider all of those things. Okay. So it does affect the blood sugar rise, but not quite as much of a spike as simple sugar. And what's sort of the allotted amount? So the recommendations are women should consume no more than six teaspoons or 25 grams of added sugar. That's per day. Per, that's, yeah, per day. Per day. And men, it's 36 grams or nine teaspoons. And a sugar cube is one teaspoon? Yeah, exactly. So the best honey would be minimally processed and raw, uh, unpasteurized and Like farm, farm stand honey. Exactly. Yeah you, yeah. you took the words right out of my mouth. And is it usually, because sometimes honey's liquid and sometimes it's solid. So what's the difference there? Well, a lot of the liquid ones are the commercially prepared, so they are more shelf-stable and uniform uh, kind of texture, like consistency, and they could have added like corn syrups and added sugars. So there's actually a test that you can do, a water test, where you put a tablespoon of honey in a glass of water, and if it settles to the bottom... It's a uh, honey, and if it dissolves, then it's sugar water. Like not real honey, you mean? Yeah, exactly. Like a some of the commercially prepared honey is just sugar water, and they might have corn syrup or added sugars in it, and not like honey. Oh, really? Like farm stand honey. Oh, yeah. interesting. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. There you go. Yeah, so kind of not, uh, you're not getting what you think it is. It's like pretend honey. <laughs> it's it's sweet. Yeah, well, it's definitely sweet. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah, I didn't realize that. So, yeah, that's the water test. A tablespoon of honey in a glass of water, if it settles to the bottom, then it's honey, but if it dissolves and it doesn't even like get to the bottom or it just dissolves in the water, then it's probably sugar water. Hmm. There you go. Mhm. Mm and remember for babies under 12 months just cuz I do uh Baby group. Yeah, I teach prenatal group, and babies shouldn't have unpasteurized honey. Okay. So signs of low-quality honey are like the sugar water, as I mentioned, so probably low price, mm -hmm. and it, they don't crystallize. So it's more like uniform liquid, you know, when it's real honey, like crystals. Mm -hmm. And the label would say raw unfiltered and that would indicate that it's raw and unfiltered maybe organic uh, manuka hoodie, honey is a really good honey from new zealand oh good I've quality heard that. yeah yeah and help with um, wound healing and cuts and uh, it's got the antibacterial quality right so the question was is isn't all sugar just sugar and what's the difference between sugar and honey and I know health, uh, honey has health benefits, but people say that sugar is sugar. That was the listener question. Mm -hmm. So if someone wants to add sweetness to their coffee or their tea or whatever, what's, what's the best option? Good question. Yeah, I would suggest honey versus white sugar. And brown sugar is better than white sugar too, for some reason, right? Yeah, typically they have. It's got some molasses in it. 
Okay, so, which is a, a good thing. A, a tiny bit of more iron, like there's a little bit of okay. benefit there's, there. There's some benefits, all right. Yeah, but it, again, brown sugar acts in the bloodstream. The same way that honey and white sugar and... Exactly. All those other... Sugar is sugar is sugar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And they might have minor differences. So if you are someone who has to watch your sugar intake, then honey and maple syrup and white sugar, brown sugar, they're all going to affect the blood sugar in a similar similar way. All right. Well, there you go. Hopefully that answers our listener's question. Sugar is sugar, honey. Honey is honey. Sugar is sugar. So yeah, thanks for listening. If you have questions like our listener did, uh, feel free to send us an email. It's mywifetherd at gmail.com. You can send us your questions, comments. Let us know how you like the show. If you have ideas for the show, things you, topics you'd like to have us talk about, let us know. We're more than happy to oblige. You can check out our website too. That's mywifethedietitian.com. We've got a weekly newsletter. We've got an amazing blog with tons of information. Check that out. We're also on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. You can leave us comments there as well. Uh, We love hearing your feedback anywhere, anytime. And don't forget to rate and review the show. That's super helpful. It helps other people find the show. It uh, helps us as well. It's Like we said, it's nice to hear, hear feedback. Let us know we're on the right track. It's also good if you share the show with your friends, family, strangers, all of the above. So that is it for this week. We will be back next Monday with a full episode. So until then, have a great week, everyone.